So you finally got your hands on Tekken 8, and perhaps you're new to the series and you think to yourself, how the heck do I play this game? If it's your first time on the channel, my name is Mad Mike, and today I'll be giving you the basics on Tekken 8, from choosing a character to the controls, explaining the heat system, and how to get a combo started. So by the end of this video, you'll be on your way to becoming a Tekken pro. First things first, choosing a character. If you're no stranger to fighting games, then you know that choosing a character is one of the most important things. Now while that is the case in Tekken 8, it's a little bit different. Honestly, my advice for picking a character in this game is just choose who you think looks the coolest. Whether it's the main protagonist, Jin Kazama, this giant mechanized weapon known as Jack 8, or Panda, just choose who you think would be the funnest to fight as. Now since this is the demo, there are only four available characters for me to use, and I'm just gonna use Jin, since I know how to play him the most. So let's go ahead and choose him and Kazuya. Now after we've picked our character and we're finally in the fight, it's time to go over the basic controls. Now this right here is an image I want you to save to whatever device you're using, because it is the universal controls for Tekken 8. These are the base controls for PlayStation and Xbox. Or if you're rocking one of these guys like your boy here, it'll look somewhat like this. Now if you didn't know already, Tekken plays a little bit differently than other fighters, with each one of these buttons controlling a limb. We got punch, punch, kick, kick. Now those aren't the only controls that you have because you can press those buttons together, whether it's the two punch buttons or the two kick buttons. Or if you want to go for a grab, you press a punch and kick button at the same time. It even works with the other two. Now aside from pressing the buttons by themselves or together, you can press them in a certain pattern, like this. But these buttons here aren't the only things that you can use to attack, you also have directional inputs. And one thing you really gotta get used to is that Tekken is a 3D fighting game, not 2D. So if you double tap up or down, you will move around your opponent like this. It's a good way to dodge attacks or even perform an attack. Now, whether you're playing on a PlayStation or an Xbox, you have shapes and letters to remember your attacks by. But me personally, I think just remembering them with numbers is easier. So you can look at it like this. One, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, four. One of the biggest things I recommend is going into the settings and changing up your controls to what you prefer because it's going to make playing the game so much easier for you. Like if you look here, this is a custom controller setup that I made myself. I made it to where my L2 was one of my throws and then my R2 was my two kicks together so I could input that easier and faster. It's just one of those things that can give you an edge in combat so I really do recommend it. One last thing before we move on is the move list. This is going to give you a breakdown of everything that your character is capable of and while it does look overwhelming, don't freak out. You don't need to learn every single move that's on here. I mean like Jin here has 109 moves that he can pull off. I would say learn a few of these inputs and then experiment and try out some other ones mixed in and that's how you're really going to get a feel for your character, what they're capable of and good combos to pull off. So I think that covers it for the basic controls. For those of you that don't know what a rage art is, when your health gets below this line here, your character and your life bar will start to glow red. Then you have access to your rage art, which again you can customize the activation button to whatever input you want, and it is a single use hit in each round. And when you activate it, it'll start this really cool cutscene and your character will do a super powerful attack. Unless of course it's blocked. Again, another move that can turn the tide of the battle, but you gotta be very smart when using it. Moving on, I wanna talk about the heat system. This is the newest fighting system that was added in Tekken 8. Think of heat mode like a power-up. Your heat gauge is located right below your health, and you are able to use it once per round. Best way to describe heat, in my opinion, is a special stance that your character takes, which powers them up. And so you can see that my gauge is being drained right now. So when you activate heat, you gotta be really smart with using it, making sure that you don't let it go to waste because it can really turn the tide of battle. Now you have two ways of activating heat. Your first option is your heat burst, which is a button that you can program in the controller setup. Looks like this. When you hit that button, your character will go into a slam attack, which will give you invincibility and your heat meter will start to drain. Now, if you hit that button again, you go into your heat smash, which is a super powerful move. It works kind of like a second rage art. Now the second way to activate heat is called a heat engager. Your character has certain moves that will put them into heat mode, like this one. They will rush down their opponent and then you can continue a combo into whatever you want. So it'd be a good idea for you to memorize which moves your character uses to enter heat mode because that can really catch your opponent off guard. My advice for using your heat mode in a match would be to use it to extend a combo. Now normally the combo would end there, but if I activate heat mid combo, see how it puts Kazuya's feet up in the air and I can continue the combo from there? Then you're in heat mode 
and you can pressure your opponent in however way you wish. So learning the way that your character can best use their heat mode to their advantage can really change how the battle will play out. Last thing I want to discuss in this video is starting a combo. For those of you that didn't already know, combos are essential to winning any battle in this game. Whether it's one punch into a kick, or two kicks into a few punches, now you can start a combo with almost any move, depending on your character of course, but there are a few moves here that are recommended for you to use when starting a combo. For example, with Jin here, I'll use his 1-2-1, one, one, which launches Kazi up into the air, and then I can continue a combo from there. Or his down 3-4, which launches him into the air, and I can again do some moves on him. So getting your opponent in the air is the best way to maximize your damage output. So best thing you can do is pick your character, find out which moves are launchers, and go from there. Filling up the combo is the fun part. Because though the beginning might be the same sometimes, the middle is where you can really mix things up. But I think that covers everything. From choosing a character, the controls, explaining the heat system, and how to start combos, you are now on your way to becoming a Tekken champion. But that's gonna do it for me today. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything, if this video was helpful to you. When Tekken 8 releases, I will have combo videos for every character. So if you're looking for any ideas, I hope you'll come back to the channel and check them out. For those of you that don't know, I stream Tekken 8 every Tuesday and play with viewers. So if you ever wanna fight me, hop on in the stream. The link to my Discord is down below if you wanna talk to me personally, and if you wanna stay up to date with everything Tekken 8 news, tips and tricks don't forget to hit that subscribe button but nonetheless thank you for watching this video all the way through and i hope that these tips help you get ready for the next battle until next time see you later